We're here to talk to you guys today about installing a sample holder to an 800K interface and what precautions to take so you don't end up twisting the interface and damaging it. So what I'd like to say is the first thing what you want to do is inspect your interface. There is a helicoil installed in the tip of the interface to prevent copper to copper contact with the threads so you don't end up at high temperatures uh, seizing the sample holder into your interface. So you could have more cycle time. This particular interface is a Ramon interface for other tests so we're going to use this. This is the gasket that we recommend. It's made out of silver and I just like to let everyone know that for no unforeseen for circumstances use indium between your sample and the interface because it will melt and it'll melt all over the interface and damage the system. So you have to use this silver gasket, take your sample holder, start a few threads. Okay, get it started. Now when you to turn it by hand, get it close to the position. What I recommend you use an adjustable wrench. And you want to hold it at this part of the interface. Snug it. You could put electrical tape on both sides of the adjustable so you don't actually scar the copper. And then when you tighten your sample holder, apply pressure, tighten that tight so you make sure you get good contact between the interface and your sample so you get a good temperature. And that's it. Same thing when you're removing your sample holder, we recommend also using an adjustable or some other tool and slow loosen, I mean, the sample holder. And that should do it. But just take very good care about one, your sensors. This is your thermocouples. This here's your cartridge heater, 50 watt. This here is your Platinum RTD. And then you have also, there's a sensor down here. This is your diode. And this is actually to do diagnostics to make sure your cold temperature is good and what your delta T is between your two uh, interface and your cold finger. And that should do it.